Street cleaning might seem straightforward, but the work shown here reveals the scale and technology behind modern surface cleaning machines. Large units like those used by Lawn Entsorging GmbH and Company, KG demonstrate how urban and industrial areas are maintained with efficiency and technical control. The size of these vehicles alone makes their presence impressive, especially when they move across vast construction zones. The process begins with tough paper sludge embedded in asphalt and rail beds. Hardened debris clings tightly, but rotating weed brushes move across the surface, breaking up the material. Even weathered paving stones are addressed, with the bristles reaching into joints and edges. You can almost sense the resistance of the ground as the brushes grind across it. Once the debris is loosened, edge cleaning follows. A specialized side brush targets the curb line, where dirt often accumulates. This ensures the border between road and sidewalk is fully cleared. Such details highlight the difference between ordinary cleaning and professional results. Dust control is handled through moisture application, water is sprayed to reduce emissions and keep particles from spreading into the air. This not only improves working conditions but also meets environmental requirements. The combination of heat and moisture creates a noticeable effect, softening residues for easier removal. High pressure hot water is then applied, 95 degrees Celsius at 220 bars with rotating jets. Cleaning agents mix in, creating an oil tenside water emulsion. A rear suction system with a capacity of 20,000 cubic meters per hour removes the mixture completely. It is remarkable to see such force applied while maintaining smooth operation. For targeted work, handheld units deliver 300 bars pressure while removing wastewater simultaneously. These devices are used in tighter spaces, like paint halls, where every trace must be eliminated. The shift from massive machines to portable units shows the flexibility of this cleaning system. Together, these methods ensure construction sites, oil spills, and industrial areas remain safe and functional. Steel and engineering power meet in the assembly of the Grove GHC-130 telescopic crawler crane. The design allows it to arrive on-site ready for a quick build, highlighting a system where heavy components align smoothly. The efficiency of this process is impressive, turning a massive machine into an operational crane within hours. The sequence starts with frame-mounted hydraulic jacks. These jacks provide clearance for trailers of different heights, making transport and unloading straightforward. Once in position, the jacks also support track installation. At this stage, the balance of the structure gives an impression of stability being created piece by piece. Next, the track side frames are lifted into place. Hydraulic clamping and quick connections secure them firmly to the car body frame. The two-stage traction motor receives flow from these connections, giving the crane its mobility. Observers can almost sense the raw force contained in these hydraulic lines. The assembly then moves to counterweight installation. One base plate with lifting lugs and four interchangeable slabs form the complete system. Counterweight lifting cylinders and chains pinned to the base plate allow smooth placement. Hydraulic locking pins engage to secure the counterweight to the upper carriage. The moment the counterweight locks in place feels like the crane's backbone is established. Wireless remote control supports the entire sequence giving mobility and flexibility to the crew. In the end, the crane stands fully rigged, ready for demanding lifting tasks. Every completed step reveals how functionality and practicality dominate this process. 
each connection, pin, and cylinder plays its role without wasted effort. The Felbertauern Mountains posed a sudden obstacle, and a rapid road project became the only way forward. After a massive rockfall closed the main route, Erdbau Mariacher took on the task of building a replacement road in record time. The challenge was not only geological but also logistical, as each step had to fit within a strict 38-day schedule. Work began in mid-June with teams deployed at multiple points along the 1.4-kilometer stretch. Excavators, loaders, and trucks moved constantly sometimes more than 40 vehicles operating at once. Blasting was essential, often carried out two to three times per day, breaking down the hardest rock sections. Water was also used to handle debris and stabilize surfaces. Around 40,000 cubic meters of material were excavated and transported to various depots for disposal or reprocessing. Every load shifted added to the sense of progress against the mountain. At the same time, fresh material was delivered and compacted into the new roadbed. Rough stone, gravel, and finer layers were rolled in sequence to form a durable base. About 15,000 cubic meters were brought in and placed, creating a surface capable of supporting heavy traffic. The rapid pace of supply and installation underlined the urgency of restoring the route. By late July, only six weeks after the start, the emergency road opened to vehicles. What normally takes a year was compressed into days proving how coordination and determination can reshape even the toughest terrain. A moment of raw force and transformation unfolds as two vehicles face their final day at the Mazan scrapyard in Italy. The process begins with positioning the cars within the pressing area, aligning them for optimal compression. It's striking to see the size of these machines dwarfed by the industrial press, highlighting the immense power at work. Hydraulic arms engage, gripping the cars firmly. Workers ensure that the vehicle is placed safely, with no chance of slippage during the pressing cycle. Every movement is deliberate, yet swift, reflecting a blend of engineering design and practical experience. Once positioned, the press descends. The massive plates push downward, bending metal, cracking glass, and compressing interiors. Sparks fly as components meet resistance, a vivid reminder of the energy involved. The sound is thunderous, echoing across the scrapyard, leaving an impression of unstoppable force. After the first compression, the press lifts slightly to allow adjustments. Technicians check alignment before initiating the final crushing. The second stroke completes the flattening, transforming once living vehicles into compact metal blocks ready for recycling. There's an almost tangible sense of satisfaction in seeing the cars reduced efficiently, knowing the metal will soon serve a new purpose. The process concludes with the removal of the compressed blocks, cleared for transport to recycling facilities. What began as everyday vehicles ends as raw material ready to re-enter the industrial cycle. 
demonstrating the sheer efficiency and capability of modern automotive pressing operations. vast dam stands in a silent barrier over the water, but the day arrives when it must yield to mechanical power. Excavators are positioned strategically along the structure, their massive arms ready for action. The process begins with initial weakening. Excavator buckets chip away at concrete, loosening large sections carefully. Hydraulic force and sheer mass allow metal teeth to bite deep into the dam's surface. Dust and debris cloud the air, giving a dramatic sense of the effort involved. Each strike sends vibrations through the structure, reminding all of the raw energy at play. Next, demolition progresses in stages. Each excavator targets specific zones, breaking concrete in sequences that maintain structural control. Operators monitor the collapse direction, ensuring safety while maximizing efficiency. Occasionally, a large slab tumbles with a thunderous crash, a reminder of the immense energy handled here. The scale of this operation is awe-inspiring, showing how engineering tools manipulate massive constructions with deliberate force. As sections fall, they are gathered and removed, keeping the site clear for ongoing work. Workers communicate through radios to orchestrate each movement with clarity and speed. The continuous cycle of breaking, lifting, and clearing illustrates both the power of the machines and the skill of the operators. Water flow is managed carefully, avoiding sudden surges as the dam gradually comes down. Even the smallest adjustment in bucket angle can change the course of debris, requiring constant attention. The rhythm of demolition becomes almost hypnotic, a blend of strategy and brute force. Finally, the dam is fully dismantled, leaving only natural riverbeds behind. Excavators retreat, their task complete, yet the impact of their work remains. The combination of mechanical strength Human control and systematic procedure highlights the complexity and magnitude of heavy equipment operations on large-scale demolition projects. Observers can hardly believe the transformation that has taken place in such a short time. Gigantic boulders are delivered to the shoreline, ready to form a resilient barrier at East Toke Point. Operators adjust each stone carefully, ensuring it locks firmly into place. Excavators maneuver the heavy rocks with precision, creating a layered revetment that will resist erosion. The immense size of the stones highlights the physical challenge for the crew. As construction advances, spaces are filled, and levels are checked to maintain stability against waves and storms. Every step showcases teamwork, strength, and strategic placement needed to protect the coast. A giant 16-wheel trailer inches along a narrow street every wheel responding sharply to guide it around the bend. Technicians had previously mapped the route, measuring widths and turning radii to ensure a smooth pass. 
The process begins with plotting the trailer's path on a scale diagram, showing distances of 3, 500 millimeters, 2, 100 millimeters, and a total width of 8, 800 millimeters. With these references, the driver maneuvers the trailer in precise increments, adjusting angles as the vehicle moves backwards. Every small correction sparks attention, highlighting the challenge of guiding such a long vehicle in confined spaces. Crew members observe from nearby, ready to signal if minor adjustments are needed. The trailer's wheels articulate in sync, demonstrating the engineering design of the steering system. Successfully navigating this tight corridor shows the skill required and the vehicle's capabilities. This method ensures safe transport even on narrow urban roads, reflecting careful preparation and teamwork. The horizon shifts as massive turbine components climb skyward, hinting at the energy to come. At the installation site, engineers and technicians prepare the massive components, starting with the tubular steel tower. Cranes lift each segment carefully into place, while teams align them precisely to ensure stability. Each tower section is bolted and secured firmly, forming a strong backbone for the turbine. Attention then turns to the rotor assembly. The three blades, each stretching 67.2 meters, are hoisted one by one. Their weight and length demand synchronized crane operations and constant communication between crew members. It is impressive to see how teamwork and machinery coordinate seamlessly in this stage. The generator, capable of 3.6 megawatts, connects to the blades, transforming kinetic energy into electrical power. With the installation complete, the turbine stands ready to contribute clean energy to nearby homes, hospitals, and institutions, a testament to thorough planning and large-scale engineering collaboration.